The government of Vietnam is a world leader in reforestation and securing food supply. But the nation still faces many challenges. In the Northwest region, many thousands of hectares are under monoculture agriculture are degraded and very unsustainable. Food supply is insecure, waterways and hydropower facilities are clogged with sediments. Deforestation is still occurring and biodiversity decreasing and ecotourism opportunities are lost. Throughout the Northwest, there is low readiness for seizing the opportunities presented by international partners such as RED, the Carbon Markets, the Global Environment Facility, and the Biocarbon Fund. In the Central Region, rapid conversion of forest continues and sloping land degrades. Widespread monoculture plantations are themselves increasingly afflicted by water shortages, sedimentation, and productivity. And in the food bowl of Asia, the Mekong Delta, rising sea levels and inadequate river flows are already threatening the area's high production levels. It is unlikely that there will ever be enough saltwater intrusion dams to stem the rising tide into the Nine Rivers and the countless branches of the Delta. Throughout the nation, farmers, researchers, and government officers have told us that climate change is already increasing the intensity of these threats. They tell us they want new climate-smart agricultural systems and they need international help to develop this. The research carried out by the World Agroforestry Center and our national and international partners shows that we can indeed meet these challenges. It is not too late if we can act on the evidence. We can implement strategies that fit each landscape's unique biophysical and socio-economic conditions. Our proven toolkit includes climate-smart agricultural techniques that emphasize agroforestry systems and the benefits provided by trees. Food, fuel, soil fertility, watershed protection, soil erosion control, carbon storage, slope stabilization, crop nutrients, shade, coolness, rainfall enhancement, and landscape beauty. To help make such landscape a reality, we have a range of negotiation support methods. These methods bring together all people involved in a landscape to create the most sustainable system. We have proven that rewards for environmental services schemes can work in Vietnam and throughout Southeast Asia under a range of conditions and for various purposes. Finally, we are proving the worth of participatory land use planning for low emissions development. Hand in hand with this, we work closely with governments to develop enabling policies that suit local conditions. We are able to bring expertise from throughout Southeast Asia and even globally to benefit Vietnam. In the Philippines, our staff have developed complex agroforestry systems for sloping land, coastal fringes, and food and fuel production. In Thailand, we have expertise in nutrition and health in rural communities. And in Indonesia, scientists, governments, businesses, and local communities are implementing land use planning for a green economy that combines sustainable food supply with economic growth. 
We are able to bring the best scientists and development specialists from all over the world to share their knowledge to help Vietnam meet its challenges. With partnerships such as this, we can build on the strong foundation created by the government of Vietnam. Not only will the nation secure an independent and sustainable food supply, but will continue to lead the world in creating a healthy environment and improved livelihood for its people.